Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Appa's video. Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. I'm not sure if you can hear it's actually rain, raining outside my condo right now. So the weather is a bit cooling. Nice to have a steamed fish. And today I'm going to do a Teochew steam here. Uh, if you ask me if there's anything I miss out in this particular recipe here, I would say it's shiitake mushroom. Usually they will, the restaurant will put a little bit of shiitake mushroom inside, which was actually soak out the nice sourish flavor mm. from the broth, which is also nice, yeah? But uh, I forgot to soak the shiitake mushroom. Lah, huh? <laughs> Let's put it this way. So today I'm going to, um, and, and the Teochew steam, we always like to use uh, prawn fruit and not the normal prawn fruit but Chinese prawn fruit. So how do you really tell the difference between a Chinese prawn fruit compared to other kinds of prawn fruit like let's say white prawn fruit. In terms of color it's very similar. This is Chinese prawn fruit. In terms of color it's very similar. Um, the uh, Then how do you tell? Two things here. Number one, you can look at the tail. This is actually very thick. When you see the, the, the tail is very thick, this is Chinese prawn fruit. When the tail is very sharp, then that is actually the uh, white prawn fruit. And this thing here, this portion here, uh, you, you, it's actually bulkier if you, uh, for Chinese prawn fruit. Okay? Uh, we, normally, we call it tou chang. Ah. And another thing is, Chinese prawn fruit is normally a lot more meatier and thicker. Somehow or rather, in Taiwan, they actually prefer Chinese uh, white prawn fruit than Chinese prawn fruit. But in Malaysia, we actually prefer Chinese prawn fruit than white prawn fruit. So I think there's no right or wrong personal preference. Um, I definitely love Chinese prawn fruit. Dou chang, okay, or dou di chang, that's what we call it. So we make few like two, uh, I think I accidentally cut this. Did I accidentally cut this? Oh, it's actually coming from the other side. <laughs> uh, make two slices two slits on the fish body to uh, uh, let the steaming process easier. Then, uh, what are the ingredients needed? I will normally like to put in some tofu, some tomato chunks, and this is the soul to this dish. Many people thought um, Teochew steam, most important is the giam chai, the pickled mustard green. Actually, no, it's this one, because this is the one that really makes your uh, steam, uh, Teochew steamed fish very sourish. This is called salted plum. Yeah, it's not even called sour plum. It's actually called salted plum. And you actually, if you want to make it even more sourish, you can actually put some, uh, the sauce from the, coming out from the salted plum here, about one to two tablespoons here, and this will make your Teochew steam very sour immediately, very fast. <laughs> so, salted plum, yeah? And then, we will put in a bit of uh, giam chai, yeah? Uh, this is a pickle mustard green, some uh, ginger slices. Uh, I have some ginger here, this is actually more for the base, yeah? This is on the top. And some fried garlic, fresh coriander, and some chili and you also need this thing pork lard okay or you can use pork belly that actually uh, anything that comes with a bit of fat lah, you need to put in a bit of fat here and this is chicken stock so let's assemble everything together now get ready a steaming plate my steaming plate today is also my serving plate uh, most of the time, I will actually steam the fish halfway and then uh, remove the fishy water uh, and then steam again. Um, some people actually ask me, Appa, can I, do, can I don't skip that step? Meaning they don't want to remove the fishy water. Now, depending on fish, if you really ask me, prawn fruit is one of, uh, white prawn fruit or Chinese prawn fruit is one of the fish that probably you don't have to do that because the, the fishiness is not so serious. So... I will skip the removal of the fishy water in this particular video but it's up to you whether you want to put it or not okay to do that or not so i'm going to start with putting the ginger slices at the bottom to raise the fish a little bit this one maybe put ah, it's okay all 
right? Oh, maybe I'll put some tomato chunks at the bottom here so that we raise the fish also. And some tomato chunks at the side. So I'm going to steam it from the beginning till the end, yeah? Meaning I won't stop halfway like I normally do. And we can put in the tofu. Cut into chunks. So later the tofu will also taste really good. It will soak out all the nice soury flavour. Okay, then we have the sour uh, salted plum sauce and also the salted plum itself. I'll put underneath. Let me clear the table, the kitchen top. Then pickle mustard green. Some ginger slices. Uh, I will leave the chili and some remaining ginger slices towards the end for garnishing. And garlic also, fried garlic here also for garnishing. Together with the fresh coriander also for garnishing. Oh, not forgetting, we need to steam it together with the pork lard. Of course, if you don't take pork, you don't have to put it there. Eh? There's no rules in Appa's kitchen. Now we can pour the chicken stock. And... I will give it a bit of sausage wine. If you don't take alcohol, of course, you can om just omit the sausage wine. And give it a few dashes of white pepper. We already have the saltiness from the, the veggie and the, uh, the sauce just now, yeah? So I'm not adding that. I'm not adding sauce already. If you want, you still can put in a little bit of uh, fish sauce. Just a little bit of fish sauce. And prepare the steamer. So you make sure your the water it is boiling inside the steamer. So once uh, the steam has gone away, you can very carefully Put in the fish, close it, and steam it for plus minus about 10 minutes. This fish is probably about uh, 4 500 grams, I would say. If you want to know where I buy my fish online, I will leave the, uh, the, the details, the buying link in the video description. You can check it out. So we come back after 10 minutes uh, under medium high heat. So this is steaming under medium high heat for about nine minutes it should be okay by now right look at the beautiful whitish color of the fish allow the steam to go away then I'm going to very carefully take out the fish So, first of all, I'm going to remove the pork lard. Oops. 
and we have some ginger slices, fresh ginger slices left just now. Some red chili. This is really more for the color. And some uh, fresh coriander and fried garlic. I can give it a, a bit of white pepper on top and done. Okay, so I hope you like my very simple recipe today. Today, I did skip one step, which is to remove the fishy water. Two reasons why I do that, number, uh, I decided to do that today. Number one is, it is I'm using Chinese pomfret today, so the fishy water will not be a lot. Number two, um, the flavor of the sauce here is actually quite strong, so it should be able to cover the, the fishy uh, taste. And But then again, having said all that, I still recommend you all to remove the fishy water. Steam the fish for about two minutes first, then only you add in all the tofu and stuff and let it continue steam for the another uh, eight, nine minutes. Okay, so I hope you like my very simple video today. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.